Hello, Klaus here from Geronimo and this video is about how to quickly change your interior configuration and add items or remove seats on the fly. So if you have selected your aircraft then open the configuration panel and uh, on some aircraft you can change the interior configuration so please check if this uh, might something that you can already use. However, Whenever you change the configuration, make sure that you adapt your basic empty weight. Because for here, for example, we have a different seat configuration. And of course, the seats have a different weight. And we don't know the weight that your particular aircraft has. So in any case, you need to go to Flight Manager. When you um, select this, you need to go to Flight Manager, create a flight, or go to Setup Aircraft and set your basic empty weight accordingly. So that's very important, otherwise the values will not be correct. So in this case, let's select the five packs and go to Edit Configuration. Here now you have the option to remove seats, like so. Again, if you remove a seat, you have to change the basic empty weight because we don't know how much your seats uh, are weighing. Now to add items, click here on Edit Custom Station and here you can now add a station. So let's add a heli basket for this um, example. And uh, the ID here now can't be anything because it will be just a little tiny uh, ID here on the symbol itself. You can now change the symbol, so click on the symbol until you find something that matches whatever you want to add. Now you can rotate it, but in that case we don't need this. And uh, now you can add the uh, weight of the basket itself. Mind your units, kilograms or uh, pounds of course. And let's say this basket here is, is 30 pounds in weight. Uh, sorry, in that case we are in kilograms. The arm here, now of course I have to um, enter a realistic arm for uh, the basket. In that case I choose 3440. Uh, 3 for 30 and um, now the lateral here in my case is 1250 minus so it's on the left hand side now I can add the station and I can check whether the station here is on the correct uh, position you can also change it later on so let's say you enter 3000 or let's say you enter a number that is not realistic you see something is off here so just make sure that you enter the correct value and uh, that's it. As soon as uh, everything is correct, you can update the station. Now you can close this panel here and you will see you have your basket ready. And the basket has already a, a weight of 30 kilograms. Of course, you can now uh, change the basket weight using the slider here. And you can then check everything on the load manifest. As you can see, you have your basket here listed and it will be added to um, the zero fuel mass and of course to the takeoff mass. Now you can keep the basket and create new flights however do not use create new flight button use the copy current flight because if you create a new flight then the aircraft interior will be reset to the default so if you want to make a new flight just copy the current flight you see we have now two flights and you still have the basket and you can now uh, change the the setup here uh, and you can now then switch between the flights with, with these buttons previous and next flight and that's the easiest way uh, to create multiple flights. With these flights by the way also the performance data is saved so if you have on flight number two if you have a different elevation and a different temperature yeah, that will be saved. So now you can go back first and next flight so you can work out different scenarios using this technique. If you want to clear out the basket, you, you have div um, multiple options. You can go to configuration, edit and edit custom stations. You can delete it like so. Or you can simply go to configuration and reselect uh, the configuration that you have set. And it will be set to the default settings. Again, whenever you add something or um, if you remove items from the interior, please open setup and change your basic empty weight accordingly. Okay, thank you very much for watching.